Desire to improve your rhythm skill set? In this video, I'll discover how to improve your rhythm as a violinist. Hi, I'm violinist Heather Kay. I work with dedicated adult violinists who want to develop impeccable technique and play with gorgeous tone. So first off, if you want to improve your rhythm playing skills as a violinist, you really need to understand what you are seeing on the page. So in order to make sure that you are playing each measure correctly, <laughs> you need to know where every note is placed. For example, if you're playing in the time signature of 4-4, four, four, every measure has four beats and the quarter note gets the beat. In that measure of 4-4, four, four, you may have 16s, 30 second notes, you may have dotted rhythms. You need to always know where your big beat is and then you can subdivide from there. What is subdivision? Just like the word sounds, subdivision, you are subdividing. You're subdividing that big beat. So if you know where your big quarter note beats are, for example, in 4-4, four, four, you want to be able to know where your eighth notes are as well. The, what I call the inside of that quarter note. A quarter note has two eighth note beats. So in that measure, know exactly where your eighth note beats are. You can also take it even further if it's a complicated measure in a slow tempo, like adagio, and you have 30 seconds and 64th notes in there, you want to divide your 16th notes so you know exactly where every 16th note is placed in order to understand where the 30 seconds and 64th notes are fitting in that measure. The reason why this is super important, it doesn't matter if you play with a metronome or not, if you don't have the measure divided up properly and understand exactly where the big beats are, the little beats are, how to subdivide that measure, you're not going to know how that measure is placed when you do have the metronome working. <laughs> you need to know exactly what note goes with the click on the metronome. So if you have your metronome set at a quarter note beat or if you have the metronome set at an eighth note beat. Once you understand how the measure breaks down mathematically, you are ready to take it to the metronome. But until then, it's not worth your time to have the metronome just clicking and you're playing along, but you really don't know what exactly is lining up with the metronome. You know the first note in each measure lines up with the metronome, but you don't know where all the other notes line up. The first step is just making sure you understand completely what's going on within the measure. Once you understand that, then you can take it to the metronome. So there's actually two topics here. One is the music from the page and being able to take that to the metronome. And the other is just to be able to play with the metronome. Many times I have violinists that I work with online, they turn the metronome on and then they play with the metronome, but they're, they're playing, but they're not playing with the metronome. It's a really good study to practice playing with the metronome. If you're practicing around your computer, the website that I use for a metronome, which is a real quick access, is metronomeonline.com. I have it set to 92. Obviously, you can adjust the volume from your computer or if you're accessing it on your phone. I know that there are many other apps that you could use. You can even let us know in the comments what is your favorite metronome app. So before I turn the metronome on, I'm just going to let you know what I'm going to do. And this is a great study, a great practice for you to do as well. So what we're going to do is two whole notes, two dotted half notes, two half notes, two quarter notes, two sets of eighth notes, two sets of triplets, two sets of sixteenths. Okay, so I'll demonstrate this for you. On the D string, open string. Feel the beat before you even start and count off. Two, three, four. This exercise may be challenging right at the get-go to switch from triplets to 16th notes or from 8th notes to triplets. 
So what you can do is when, where you find that it's a challenge, isolate that. And you can take this up from two sets. I shortened it for the video, the sake of the video, to do only two sets. But you can do this four sets, four sets, four whole notes, four dotted half notes, four half notes. Okay, and you could also do it at a slower tempo. I chose to do it at 92, but you could take it to 80. And this is a great daily practice for you to internalize the beat as you're playing. So when we're doing this on the open string, the beat, the internalization of the beat lives in your right hand. So you could even, before taking this to the violin, is set the metronome and tap. You could tap your violin, you could tap anywhere, you could clap, but just use your right hand. Really feel your right hand internalizing and activating that beat. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. One, two, three, two, two, three. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Okay? So really feel that your hand is tapping the same way that you would be bowing. Okay, so the eighth notes would be one and two and because you're gonna implement that physicality within the right hand. So your right hand is in charge of the rhythm when we're playing on open strings. So obviously when we're playing long whole bows and our left hand is playing the notes within that long slur, the rhythm lives within the left hand and not the right. The right pulls out the long slur, but the left hand has the rhythm. practicing your shoddy hack with the uh, long slurs. The 16th notes live in the left hand. If you found this video to be helpful, <laughs> you may absolutely love my Rock Your Rhythm skill set workshops. That starts Monday, January 23rd. One, two, three. There are eight workshops within this series, 55 minutes long, held online, where we'll go deep into the topic of rhythm as violinists and how to play rhythmically accurate. I will leave a link in the upper right-hand corner of this video where you can register to receive an email that'll let you know about this rhythm workshop that starts on Monday. You do have to register before, before Monday in order to get that update. Now, if you're watching this video after January 23rd, go ahead and register and you'll get the inside information for the monthly group workshops. And this way you can get notified of what they are and when. Enjoy practicing your rhythm and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.